I know I'm back. Look, God bless me. Somebody's got to do it. Would you rather have Chris Hauser doing this for you? I can go, I can call Patrick. I have Lone Wolf come, you know, why do you got? I wouldn't do that to you guys. I promise. I promise. I promise. Shut up. Really? Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. It won't be on. <laughs> All right. We're going to move on to number 10. The perfect 10. Here we go. False executor. Number 10. The presumption of the executor de son tort. Executor de son tort. Executor de son tort is the presumption that if the accused does not seek to assert their right as executor de son tort and beneficiary over their body, mind, and soul, they are acting as an executor de son tort or a false executor challenging the rightful judge as executor. Therefore, the judge slash magistrate assumes the role of true executor and has the right to have you arrested, detained, fined, forced into psychiatric evaluation, chopped into mince meat, and fed to whole... Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong thing. Uh, unless the presumption is openly challenged by not only asserting one's position as executor, as well as questioning if the judge or magistrate is seeking to act as executor ton sotort, the presumption stands as a judge or magistrate of the private bar guild may seek to seek to assistance, seek, that's a typo, seek the assistance of the bailiffs or sheriffs or deputy sheriffs or constables to assert their false claim. Uh, to about this, you need to state, quote, here to four, affiance state herein rebuts the presumption of executor de son tort, as presumed by all parties, principals, agents, employees, assigns, and successors here with them, quote, just two more. That's four, actually, but we're just going to narrow that down to two. All right. Yeah. It's been uh, an eventful day, for sure. It's been an eventful couple days. Looking forward to tomorrow. See you at number 11. See, everything's 11s. 11 there, there's 11 there. 11s, 11s and zeros, ones and zeros. Makes you kind of think what kind of world we're really in, huh? Uh, let's see. 